10.30. I got a phone call from Kaiser this morning, which woke me up, and I woke up with a migraine. Oh, I got ice on my front of my head, and ice on the back of my head. And I took one of my migraine pills, and I'm trying to sip on a little bit of soda. I can't have too much soda, but I'm going to be in here for a little bit in the dark in the dark all alone you've got your with critters that's I right marshmallow i'm looking right now hey everybody it's about 1 30. i got up about a half hour ago still got a little bit of a headache but not a migraine right now i have some soda that i'm sipping at i know i'm not supposed to but Sometimes the caffeine helps my headache. I got my drink. Kevin made me some microwave eggs and ham. So I needed to get some food in my stomach. We got a Santa Ana condition again. Yeah, I love it. I love this wind. And I think we should put you out in the backyard and see if you blow away with that hat on. I don't have a hat on. I have... You have your propellers on. Yeah, that's not a hat. That's a headband. And see if you fly away. Uh -uh, I'm going to have to wait for another good guest. So we're having Santa Ana's and we're sitting here with the doors open and I love the wind that it comes and we've got to wait for another really good gust of wind because my little uh, propellers, they're not called propellers, they're propellers, pinwheels, my little pinwheels are, twirling. now they're blowing, yeah. I can see them, are you taking off, no, they stopped. Oh, there goes one of them. Making a left turn. <laughs> Wait for breeze. There it is. One turn, face to wind. Takeoff. <laughs> okay, so Val's feeling better. Her um, migraine is is over, which is great. So she's she's feeling good, but she's going to stay in bed. We're going to probably do some editing of some vlogs so we can have some stuff up today and tomorrow, uh, besides our regular stuff. So Val's gone into her room. We're going to watch some TV, and I must deal with this as usual so usually when Megan and Brian show up the amount of dishes quadruple go figure and no freckles it's not time for you to eat again so there we go put it all back together looks a lot better than it did and freckles is snoring. <laughs> I need you to take it back. Take what back? You said you clean the kitchen like usual. And I want you to acknowledge that I do get up and I clean. Yeah, in the middle of the night. When you're up in the middle of the night. Sometimes. I do it more often than you're letting people think. <laughs> I said as usual. Which, which means I usually do it. Right? And most of this mess was caused by um, Megan and Brian. Yes, but when I clean, I clean. You did dishes. You didn't clean. There's coffee, 
coffee grinds all over the counter here. The stove's got food all over it. So you don't clean, you do the dishes. <laughs> I clean. All right. There's a difference. At three in the morning. That's you, right. You, when you I can can't clean. sleep, I clean. So I leave you stuff to do. So that when you're out, yeah. <laughs> That's so sweet of you. <laughs> well, you're welcome. <laughs> well, thank you for doing the dishes, but don't make it sound like I don't do anything, because I do a lot. Okay. Even yes, though I dear. don't feel good. <laughs> don't make fun of me. You're going to sleep on the couch. <laughs> You're going to sleep on the couch. I'm itchy. Look, you see that? You see that on the floor? Yeah. That's not clean. You want me to clean it and put it back? I want you to pick it up and throw it in the trash where it belongs. <laughs> yes, dear. I have something for you to do tonight. No! <laughs> so Boomer doesn't want me to work. This is what he's done this two or three times now. I, as soon as I start working on a vlog or something, he'll come right up and lie right on my hand. <laughs> Boomer, Daddy's got to work. Daddy's got to work, Boom. I can't write down my shout out. So Boomer really doesn't like it when we work. He's on my book. Boomer. Can I have my book? Can I have my book? Let's get the foot going. Let's get the foot going. Oh, let's get the foot going. As long as you scratch, you can have the book. You want me have it? <laughs> no. Hello, everybody. It's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. We're going to start off, I'm sorry to say, with a sad shoutout. Um, Gimme the Duck lost his dog, Rebel, on the 1st of March, and he's been having a real hard time with it. It's never easy to lose a a pet. They are more than just a pet. They are part of our family and our heart goes out to you. So if everyone can please keep Give Me the Duck in your thoughts and prayers and, and Rebel as well. Thank you. I love my singing monsters. She wants me to leave her a link to Jessica CT's channel. Do that. We forgot to do that last night so we sure will do that for you tonight. Um, Diamond Eye, welcome to the neighborhood. And Michelle Casas, mm -hmm. Michelle Casas, welcome to the neighborhood all the way from Connecticut. We have so many people. Um, last night I asked where everybody was from, and we had a lot of people answer. We've had people answer from Germany all the way to Montana, Palm Springs, Minnesota, everywhere. I mean, just Finland. Finland, yeah, Florida, lots and lots and lots of different places. And I'm very excited that a lot of people took, took part in this. So my next question to all of you is, what is the number one feature in your town that would make me want to come and visit your town. Make us want to come and visit your town. What is it? We have an interesting feature here. We'll tell you about it tomorrow. Yeah. What, it, what is the number one feature in your town that would make us want to come and visit there? I'm pretty interested to see what that is in some of, some of these places. Uh-huh. So, yeah. So, um... Are you um, done? Um... What? What, are, what are you anxious or something? You like in a hurry to do something? Oh wait, I have to do. I, I haven't done it in a couple your, of days. Your nibbling doesn't have to go up. <laughs> Mom's vlog eighty. All you new guys, go check out Mom's vlog eighty. Terrific channel. Just hit a thousand subs. I want to try and get her up to two thousand. Show her some love and support. Uh, 
great families. Uh, one son is autistic. One son is fighting neuroblastoma cancer. Go subscribe to them. Donate if you can. Purchase a t-shirt if you can. If not, just subscribe and view and thumbs up and comment. Show them some love. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Yay! Oh. Um, <laughs> so we have um, our trivia question from yesterday was who is this guy fake champ and why was there so many people playing him in the uh, evil dead uh, the answer of course is uh, fake champ is uh, a, con a concept created by Sam Raimi who made the movie and he could not finished the movie in time. Uh, it took six weeks of principal photography, but then all of his crafting crew disappeared, so we had to finish it over the next year and a half with stand-ins. So a fake shemp is a stand-in, and that could be just someone's hand, someone's leg, uh, back of the head. So he's a, um, a Three Stooges fan, and he's referring to when Shemp Howard, one of the, uh, of the brothers, died in 1955 in the middle of making three of their short films and they had to finish them with a, a, a fake shemp and uh, ever since Sam Raimi coined the fake shemp it's become a industry standard or just shemp uh, it's become a standard concept for a standard so uh, and I left a link on, uh, on that on yesterday's vlog for someone put together all of the uh, fake shemps from the 1955 uh, Three Stooges movies so it's kind of cool to watch. Okay, today's uh, trivia question. I'm a little excited about this one. Uh, 1991 movie um, starring Jodie Foster called Silence of the Lambs. It actually won the Academy Award for that year. And um, I was so impressed with the movie, I actually went and bought a Death's Head Moth. So this has been kind of hanging around the house for what, 20 years? Lost a leg at some point. Yeah, it did actually. So, um, so that's a death's head moth. That's the Asian variety. Now the question is, um, death's head moths were, it's not something they could pick up here in Hollywood or in Pittsburgh where it was actually filmed. Uh, so they had to use a stand-in for the moths. There's a big scene where the, the guy's whole house is filled with moths. What what moth did they use as a death head's moth stand-in? A fake shemp. <laughs> it's a fake shemp moth. <laughs> so there you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight, guys. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you. We love you all very much. Thumbs up. Make sure to go by and check out the Neighborhood Zoo, Paranormal Investigations with the Neighbors. There'll be a new one up tomorrow night. And <laughs> Megan's Hearts and Crafts. I got a moth on my head. <laughs> She's the moth lady. <laughs> Bye. We'll see y'all tomorrow.